Have you ever considered the possibility that sexuality and spirituality may not be disparate, but intertwined energies? The gates of our secret garden are now open. Welcome to the monastery lost in the woods, that hidden place where you and me are going to sit together and have a chat in peace. Tonight, under a full moon, we are going to talk about sex magic, baby. Welcome to the fascinating world of sex magic. At its core, sex magic is a form of ritual practice that involves harnessing the potent energy of sexuality, a fundamental aspect of human existence, and channeling it towards spiritual growth and manifestation. Its historical roots stretch back to ancient civilizations where sex was revered as a mystical and sacred act. From the tantric practices of ancient India to the fertility rituals of prehistoric Europe, Sex magic has been a part of human spirituality for millennia. Fast forward to the modern day, and this practice has evolved, yet its essence remains the same. But what is the purpose of sex magic? Well, it's about much more than physical pleasure. It's about tapping into our inherent life force energy, that raw, primal power that fuels creation itself. In sex magic, this energy is not just released, but consciously directed towards achieving specific intentions or goals. This could be anything from personal transformation to manifesting your desires, or even connecting with higher realms of consciousness. You see, sex magic is not about promiscuity or hedonism. It's about recognizing the divine power of sexual energy and honoring it as a pathway to spiritual growth. It's about cultivating a deep sense of awareness and respect for the sacred act of sexual union and using that energy in a conscious, intentional way. This practice encourages us to view sexuality not as a taboo, but as a sacred and powerful aspect of our existence. It invites us to embrace our sexuality, to honor it, and to harness its energy for our spiritual journey. So sex magic is not just about physical pleasure, but about harnessing our inherent life energy for a higher purpose. Now that we have a foundation, Let's delve into the practices that make up sex magic. At the heart of sex magic lie various rituals and practices that are designed to harness sexual energy. This energy, potent and powerful, can be channeled towards personal growth, manifestation, and spiritual purposes. One of the most common practices is visualization. This technique involves creating a mental image of a desired outcome or goal. As the practitioner reaches the peak of their sexual energy, they focus on this image, infusing it with their energy. The belief is that this act supercharges the intention, making it more likely to manifest in reality. Another key practice is meditation. In the context of sex magic, meditation is used as a tool to connect with one's sexual energy on a deeper level. Through breath work, mindfulness and focused attention, practitioners can tap into their sexual energy, understand its power, and learn to guide it towards their spiritual or personal objectives. Then, there are specific rituals that can be performed alone or with a partner. These rituals often involve a combination of physical intimacy, visualization, and intention setting. The aim is not only to experience pleasure, but to transform the act of sex into a sacred spiritual practice. For instance, some practitioners might choose to perform rituals during certain phases of the moon, believing that the lunar cycle can influence the potency of their magic. Others might incorporate elements like candles, incantations, or symbolic objects into their rituals to enhance their focus and intention. Remember, the goal of these practices is not simply to experience physical pleasure. Instead, they're about tapping into the potent force that is sexual energy and channeling it towards personal and spiritual growth. Whether it's manifesting a desired outcome, deepening self-awareness, or cultivating a deeper connection with a partner, Sex magic can be a powerful tool. These practices are designed to help us channel our sexual energy towards spiritual growth, manifestation, and personal transformation. At the heart of sex magic lies a profound respect for sexuality as a sacred force. This is where we introduce the concept of sacred sexuality, a cornerstone of sex magic. But what does it mean to view sexuality as sacred, and how does this perspective shape the practice of sex magic? Let's delve deeper. In our everyday lives, sexuality is often viewed through a purely physical lens. But in the realm of sex magic, it takes on a more profound spiritual dimension. This is the essence of sacred sexuality. It's about recognizing and honoring the spiritual energy that flows through us 
when we engage in sexual activity. It's about understanding that this energy is a potent force, capable of manifesting change, personal growth, and spiritual enlightenment. Sacred sexuality is about connection. It's about connecting with oneself, with a partner, and with the universe. It's a recognition that through our sexual energy, we tap into the very life force that powers existence. This connection isn't just about physical pleasure. It's about spiritual growth and transformation. It's about using our sexual energy as a conduit to reach higher states of consciousness and to connect with the divine. In the practice of sex magic, sacred sexuality is harnessed and directed with intention. This could be for personal growth, for healing, or for manifesting one's desires. The key here is intention. It's not just about the act of sex. It's about the conscious focus and intention that transforms the act into a powerful ritual. This perspective of sexuality as a sacred force is empowering. It allows us to reclaim our sexual energy, to honor it, and to use it as a tool for personal and spiritual growth. It's about recognizing the divine within us and using that recognition to create change in our lives and in the world around us. In the realm of sex magic, sexuality is not just a physical act, but a spiritual journey. It's about honoring and harnessing the sacred energy within us to create, manifest, and transform. It's about recognizing that we are not just physical beings, but spiritual beings having a physical experience. And it's through this understanding that we can truly tap into the power of sacred sexuality. Sex magic is not a new age concept. It has deep roots in history and across cultures. This profound practice has been part of human spirituality for millennia, with traces found in ancient civilizations, religious texts, and mystical traditions worldwide. Let's journey back to ancient Egypt, where the union of the god Osiris and goddess Isis was a sacred act of creation, echoing the potent energy of sexual union. This divine coupling was seen as a magical act, symbolizing fertility, abundance, and the continuity of life. Across the ocean, in the Americas, the Mayans revered the powers of sexual energy. They believed that sexual activity could open portals to the divine, allowing for communication with the gods and harnessing the life force energy for healing and transformation. Fast forward to the Middle Ages in Europe, where we find evidence of sex magic in alchemical texts. The alchemist's pursuit of the philosopher's stone, a metaphor for spiritual enlightenment, often involved symbolic sexual imagery, alluding to the transformative power of sexual energy. In the East, Tantra, a spiritual tradition that emerged in ancient India, also embraced the sacredness of sexuality. Tantra views sex as a path to spiritual awakening, integrating the physical and spiritual realms through conscious sexual practices. In the 20th century, notable figures like Alistair Crowley and Paschal Beverly Randolph further popularized sex magic. Crowley, in his works, emphasized the potential of sexual energy to achieve magical outcomes, while Randolph, an American occultist, wrote extensively about sexual magic as a means of spiritual growth and personal empowerment. These historical figures and traditions have shaped and evolved the practice of sex magic over the centuries, each contributing unique perspectives and techniques. They recognized the power of sexual energy, not just for procreation, but also as a potent force for personal transformation, spiritual growth, and manifestation. Sex magic, thus, is a timeless practice, reflecting humanity's enduring fascination with the power of sexual energy. As with any practice involving sexuality, ethics and consent are paramount in sex magic. When we delve into the realm of sex magic, we're not just dealing with energies and rituals, we're dealing with people. And people, with their emotions, boundaries, and autonomy, should always be respected. The cornerstone of any practice that involves another person, especially in a sexual context, is consent. Consent is not a one-time agreement, but an ongoing conversation, an active affirmation of willingness and participation. In sex magic, this is even more crucial. When two or more individuals choose to engage in these practices, it's essential that all parties understand what they're getting into, what the expectations are, and what boundaries should not be crossed. Everyone involved should be comfortable and secure in their decision to participate. Moreover, consent in sex magic isn't just about saying yes or no. It's about understanding the practice, 
understanding the potential outcomes, and understanding the spiritual implications. It's about making an informed decision. Then comes the question of ethics. Ethics in sex magic is about more than just knowing right from wrong. It's about understanding the power and responsibility that comes with harnessing sexual energy in this way. It's about respecting the sacredness of the act and the vulnerability of the people involved. When we talk about ethics, we're talking about respect for the self and for others. We're talking about honesty, integrity, and responsibility. We're talking about not misusing the power that sex magic can bring for selfish or harmful purposes. So, when we combine ethics and consent, we create a safe, respectful, and empowering environment for sex magic to occur. We create a space where individuals can explore their spirituality, connect with their partners, and harness their sexual energy in a positive, ethical, and consensual way. And let's be clear on this. Without consent and ethical practice, sex magic loses its purpose and power. Because at its core, sex magic is about connection, empowerment, and mutual respect. And without these, it's not magic at all. Without consent and ethical practice, sex magic loses its purpose and power. Let's explore the transformative potential of sex magic. This is a realm where the powerful energy of sexuality becomes a catalyst for personal growth, healing, and profound transformation. Sex magic isn't just about exploring the outer edges of human pleasure. It's about embarking on a deep inner journey. Imagine harnessing the raw primal power of your own sexual energy. Now picture channeling that same energy towards your personal and spiritual development. Sex magic allows us to do precisely that. It is a practice where the ecstasy of the physical meets the depths of the spiritual, creating a potent combination that can lead to a profound awakening. The practice of sex magic isn't only about sexual pleasure, it's about self-discovery. With each ritual, each moment of connection, we peel back the layers of our own psyche. We uncover hidden truths about ourselves, and in doing so, we cultivate a deeper sense of self-awareness. Sex magic can also be a powerful tool for building confidence. As we learn to navigate and control our own sexual energy, we gain a newfound sense of empowerment. We realize that we are the masters of our own bodies, our own desires, and our own destinies. But the transformative power of sex magic doesn't stop with the individual. It extends to the relationships we form with others. By practicing sex magic with a partner, we can develop a deeper sense of intimacy and connection. We learn to communicate our desires, to respect boundaries, and to navigate the complexities of human connection. In essence, sex magic is a journey, a journey of personal growth, of spiritual discovery, and of transformative change. It's a path that challenges us to look inward, to explore our desires, and to harness the power of our sexual energy in pursuit of personal transformation. And so we see that sex magic is not just a practice, but a philosophy. It's a way of viewing ourselves, our relationships, and the world around us. It's a path that invites us to embrace our sexuality, to harness its energy, and to use it as a force for personal growth and transformation. Through sex magic, we can harness our sexual energy to drive personal transformation. Despite its profound potential, sex magic is often misunderstood. It's time to clear up some of those misconceptions, to reveal the true essence of this potent spiritual practice. The first and perhaps most pervasive misconception is that sex magic is simply about sex. This couldn't be further from the truth. While sexual energy plays a vital role, it serves as a gateway to higher consciousness, a tool for transformation. It's not about carnal indulgence, but about harnessing and directing this potent energy towards spiritual awakening and personal growth. Another misunderstanding is that sex magic is dark or dangerous. This stems from societal taboos that demonize sex and spirituality's union. But remember, like any tool, sex magic isn't inherently good or bad. It's the intention behind its use that matters. Practiced with respect, love, and a clear purpose, it can be a powerful catalyst for positive change. Then there's the notion that sex magic is an excuse for promiscuity or unethical behavior. This is a gross misinterpretation. Consent, respect, and ethical considerations form the bedrock of any sex magic practice. It's not a free pass for reckless behavior, but a sacred practice, a journey towards enlightenment undertaken with the utmost reverence. Some also believe that sex magic is exclusively for couples. 
While some rituals involve a partner, many practices can be performed solo. It's about your personal relationship with your sexual energy, whether shared or harnessed individually. Finally, there's the challenge of societal judgment, the fear of being misunderstood or ostracized. It's important to remember that your spiritual journey is personal. You're not required to share or justify your practices to anyone. Embrace your path with confidence, knowing that you're exploring a tradition with ancient roots, a practice steeped in wisdom and potential. By demystifying sex magic, we can begin to appreciate its spiritual and transformative potential. It's not a path devoid of challenges or misconceptions, but the rewards for those who dare to explore it are profound. We've journeyed through the fascinating world of sex magic, but this is just the beginning. We've explored its historical roots, delved into its rituals and practices, and touched on the sacredness of sexuality within this sphere. We've also examined the importance of ethics and consent, and how these practices can lead to personal empowerment and transformation. But remember, this is a vast subject with nuances and depths worth exploring. It's about the powerful interplay of our physical and spiritual selves, a dance of energy that can lead to profound insights and personal growth. So continue your exploration, seek out resources, engage in discourse, and most importantly, approach it with respect and responsibility. This is not a path for the faint-hearted or the reckless. It requires introspection, understanding, and a deep sense of ethics. Remember, sex magic is not just about sexuality, but about the powerful interplay of our physical and spiritual selves. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the world of sex magic. Your curiosity and open-mindedness are what make these explorations possible, and we're grateful that you've chosen to spend your time with us. If you found this video informative and interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Your likes help us reach a wider audience and spread knowledge about these often misunderstood topics. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss our upcoming videos. We have a lot more to share in the realm of sacred sexuality and beyond, and we'd love for you to be a part of our community. Remember, your engagement helps us create more content like this. Thank you for your support. Stay curious, stay respectful, and keep exploring the fascinating intersections of our physical and spiritual selves. The gates of our secret garden are now closed.